My name's uh, Bob Del Rosario. I'm a OBGYN in this region, and they asked me to kind of recount what uh, what happened in the past. Um, 2002, several insurance companies that provided malpractice in this state raised their rates. It, it was unreachable for us. Several other companies stopped writing malpractice insurance. Uh, it, me it became an immediate decision for one of my partners, who is a well-regarded, well-experienced, really at the top of his clinical game, physician, to announce that he had to retire. He just couldn't afford to practice. Uh, pipelines we had out to try and recruit younger physicians, when they saw what the climate was in this state, they, they really said, no, we, we don't want to come in. So we were getting cut off from above, we were losing experienced physicians, and from below, we couldn't recruit new physicians. Uh, it became an immediate access issue. Other, other OBGYNs uh, within our department, about three or four, left the state. They, they couldn't uh, continue to practice in the climate uh, for several reasons, but the bottom line is they were gone. If we just look at that small, small number of physicians, you might just say, well, one senior physician, three other doctors, they all probably take care of about 15,000 women who, who need care throughout the course of their lifetime. And it was cut off immediately. Um, it fell to the rest of us. So we had to take care, and, and that's an honorable duty. We gotta help out these people who no longer have a doctor. They got a strange face taking care of them. Uh, it's gonna create waits for appointments. You have 15,000 people looking for a new doctor. It's gonna create waits, and that's a lag in care. That compromises care. Uh, for someone who's seen someone for 30 years, who's delivered their children, who knows their family, who knows who they're taking care of. Are they taking care of a kid? Are they taking care of an elderly parent with Alzheimer's? They've, they've gone through the life with that physician, and now that physician's gone. And they have to turn to someone who's got to recap that history and establish that right away. It hurts care. It hurts care for everybody. Um, I'm, I'm proud to be a member of the PA Med Society, and back then, uh, they pushed through with, with meaningful change, uh, change which uh, allowed the malpractice climate to stabilize. Uh, it didn't compromise people's ability if there was a, something bad happened to sue, and, and all the literature points towards that hasn't been affected. Uh, the changes didn't compromise patient care. I think technology and advances that are going on, everything's really improved and gotten really great in the state of Pennsylvania. Um, it enabled us, as a practice, once things were stabilized, to hire new physicians. It was about providing more docs, more nurse practitioners, more mid midwives uh, who could take care of our patients without having a three-month wait, without having a two-month wait. But in, instead, being able to offer things like, hey, if you got an emergency, can you come in at two o'clock? We can see you today. You don't have to wait two weeks. You don't have to go to a stray center where someone doesn't know you. We can see you. We take care of you. Um, may seem very simplistic, but what that legislation did was stabilize the picture for us. We don't want to worry about doing anything else other than focusing on keeping up with the literature keeping up with the advances in health care, doing what's right for our patient. It's all we want to do as doctors. Um, people earlier said we'd rather not be here. I'd rather not be here. I'd rather be, frankly, delivering someone's baby right now. It's a lot more rewarding. Um, but this will help a lot of people come to this state and deliver a lot more babies after I'm retired. And I hope common sense prevails common sense which will benefit all our patients um, and every person. As this gentleman said, we're all going to be patients. It's not about doctors, us versus them, lawyers. We're all going to be patients. And if, if there's restriction of care because of legislation uh, that won't help anybody but um, maybe some self-serving attorneys, then that's the wrong thing to do. So I'd really plead with everybody to look to say, what is the right thing to do? It's all staring us in the face. And let's not have a return to these dark ages where we had to worry about things that had nothing to do with helping each other and taking care of each other.